Okay, given that CD is perpendicular, the perpendicular bisector of HJ, okay, perpendicular and bisector, two things. 90 degree angle, cut in half. Now we've talked about that, okay? So I've got the 90 degree angle cut in half, which means I is the midpoint. And we've talked about this a bunch. I is the midpoint. Name three things you can conclude. Well, number one, I is the midpoint. Number two, angle CIH equals 90 degrees, the measure of it. It's a right angle. And the measure of CIJ is also 90 degrees. Okay? And that's pretty much all you have to do. CIH is 90, CIJ is 90. Okay? That's basically all you can do. The perpendicular bisector gives you that utility where you can figure those things out. All right, number 36. NO is the perpendicular bisector. Here we go again, 90 degree, cut in half, of LM. Okay? So I know I've got this, and I also know what? O is the midpoint because NO is the bisector. If OM is 4, that means what? LO is also 4. And LN is 6, then what's LO? Well, that's pretty simple. OM is 4 and LN is 6. LO is 4 because it's the same as this one. MN, what is this? Well, I can't just say it's 6 by looking at it, but what can I say? I know that NO is congruent to NO by the reflexive property, right? Okay. So now I can say triangle LON is congruent to triangle MON by side angle side, right? Side angle side. So now I can say LN is congruent to MN by CPCTC which means that if LN is 6, MN equals 6 also. Okay.